Yeah, welcome to another episode. Hey, share my flag, you done it. It's been a minute. Back. <laughs> welcome to yeah. episode five, ne? Yo, impa, my boy. Impa, my. Five is the number of grace. Baby. There you go. There you go. Um, just a continuation of what we were discussing on the previous show. Uh, <laughs> financial stability. Yeah. Well, lady, my name is Pusu Somzolo, aka Sister Styles. This is my man Tapelo. He forgot to introduce himself. Listen, but I, it's okay. I got you, homeboy. Yeah, my name is Tapelo <laughs> Duma. As he said. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to get into this already. You know, I've been waiting for this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So last time we spoke about the importance of being financially stable as Umjita before um, considering this holy matrimony marriage marriage you yeah. know um and we questioned the guys last time with him um do they still feel that their financial burden still um heavily lies with with Them. the gents or mm. now women coming into their place and also being a, a sort of like financially capable um uh, do they share that responsibility and so forth we answered quite a lot of those questions yes yeah, so. and so this week or uh, on this episode we're trying to tackle an element within financial stability um which is lobola i'm a lobola i'm a lobolo but you know? before we, we we kick that in we have two guys uh we have two guests uh we have our brothers Lucy so before to introduce yourselves hola uh, i'm leseho wakamatabani I'm a strategic planner by profession. Strategic planner. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Sounds hectic. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Nagi, my name is Tapolo Kumalo. I'm the founder of Auzweke magazine and Auzweke TV. Our founder, founder. Someone am I founder? Kapatia, we ma. Na zota la we. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you, my friend. Thank you. Sure, sure. Um, so. Um, you guys will give us a little bit of context uh, in terms of where you guys are at with regards to the topic that we're discussing today just to give people some insights there. And I think why Lobolo is that um, the reason we're tackling this topic is that it's the first instance uh, 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 where it's you are met. Yeah. First, first, first financial hurdle that the guy needs to sort of jump off, like jump on and and that responsibility lies with the IoT, you know. So we wanna then just bring and just talk more in depth about Lobola, the finance, the financial part of it. Um, Tapelo asked the leading question, but you know, is it still, you know? Like yeah, don't relevant? get into that right now. <laughs> just tell us where you guys are at. I know yeah. Taps is is married, and Lesiko to keep her ama dembeshi. Ropile, but Agnagi, so zangai oguti. What are his expectations and so forth? Um, as it's something that's uh, that I believe is still coming up, you know. Yeah. And umul oh, oh, I was about to say umul left because you know umul <laughs> left. I know you as umul left. So sure, sure. Yeah. Um, maybe his experience on that as well. Yeah. Just a little bit of uh, prisoniana on your uh, thoughts on what we're talking about today. Just a brief. Just a brief. Um. Second. Okay. I think I'll go first. Now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um. I think for me, uh, I've I've been wanting to get married. Yeah. for a while sure. <laughs> um, but there's been a few hurdles along the way so my mindset is still on getting married plus you know just having had a kid recently you know obviously the expectations are having to do the right thing and yeah as a machita you have to marry that the baby mama yeah. or not <laughs> <laughs> topic for another day though careful, but careful, yeah careful. but yeah where where i'm at though is uh, 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 uh i've been wanting to get married yeah. and i think uh yeah financial hurdle has been well the finances has been the biggest hurdle and i like what you're saying you know because <laughs> the first person i went to you know was my dad and i asked him with hey time sing ready much sure sing ready and the one question that he asked me was uh boy i i hear what you're saying but do you have money hey yeah do you yeah. have money to get married <laughs> yeah, yeah. hey that's a hard ask and that's a hard ask. i couldn't give him that answer i was like hey yeah I'm, I'm not sure i have to check my bank balances yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know and yeah that was it and then he said to me come back we'll have that conversation once you are sure that you are financially fit 
Okay, yeah. solid, yeah. solid, solid. Tips. Good. So now, for me, now, I, I for one believe in marriage because uh-huh. I got, I got married or I love a lot. And then, like when I was still young, I think 25, 26, okay. somewhere there. So I feel Luguti wants to found the right person. Mm-hmm. Just do right by her and just yeah. put her in our line and then you guys move on. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. me. And I was so Linux. Up until today, Chief, I'm the happiest guy ever. Ah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, wow. that's me. It's like once you found the right woman, f- or like who matches you, because of you have, ne- like both of you guys need to somewhere somehow ni 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 Sure. And my wife and I, we are at that point where we know one another. I know what she likes. She kn- she knows what I like and. Like we help one another basically. Like we, like we are a team more than us being husband and wife. Yeah. Sure, sure. So people need to know team. Marriage is not all about husband and wife, but it's all about teamwork. Yeah. Yes, we Makes need to work, work like uh, like like really too. You know what I mean? If mm. there are some points where. I was fi- like finances were bad in my life mm. for over six months because of my business that I started like like, like and then she had to support me and my family at that point of time. Wow. So that's why so good. This is a woman, not I don't know how to call it gold digger wives. Because yeah. of, if she was part of those gold digger wives, she could have left me a long time ago. Mm-hmm. But yeah. her being there for me when I was broke. It showed me that I took the right decision for me to marry her, and wow. with that, I'll always respect her. Wow. So, but then it's edit, like now, it's rare for us like to find such women. You know, mm. we are living in a world where women want money. If you don't have a man as a guy, you're not a man. <laughs> yeah, touching on, so, yeah, you're touching on yeah. something. You're touching on something. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. I think it's very important to just um, highlight Uguti. What what does Lobola mean in our current? Yeah. times you know for me for instance in my culture lobola is called mahadi mm-hmm. you know and um i don't know if it's the same with you guys yeah that's true you, you know so <laughs> I, i'm just trying to see oh, there are some principles and values when it comes to lobola in terms of uh, uh, um, culture and it differs with each and every culture from mm-hmm. sutu to Kosa to vendor that i'm trying to what I'm trying to get into, Uti, if the city Amahadi are a great, uh, is is that the, the, is the principle? Does that principle still stand in modern times? There are a couple of principles I'm gonna get into as well, but I just want to uh, ask you guys if Amalobolo still serve their original intent, um, uh, as it, it, they were a symbolic of a union between two families mm. or has that sort of like changed yeah. okay uh, personally for me it has changed because mm. now ama lobola is a way to enrich the girlfriends or the wife to be family to enrich themselves basically it's no longer a part where both, both families are, are, are forming a relationship that's the problem that you're facing because of if you want to marry someone the family if you have a lot of money Mm-hmm. Not doing what they're gonna do with that, because looking at me, my wife and myself, I paid lobola, not a lot of money, mm-hmm. but the money that was building relationship for both families. Mm-hmm. we are here building a like relationship here, three bond. We're not selling our our daughter to you guys, but saying you guys come on, Nati, let's go this journey, Nani. And that's the thing, Guti. Things now have changed. Because mm. of I always I've been into global negotiations recently mm. for my brother and my my, my 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 sister. Yeah, people are crazy out there. They demanding a <laughs> lot of money, so to say mm. that. But and mm. when you ask them why this much, yeah, they don't have reason because of the, they feel good to when when you say you're gonna pay lobola, this guy will pay him mm. I read the English first, so that's yeah. it, it has changed basically as years went by. But yeah. For so, me, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not it's no longer serving that, that no, original. It's no okay. longer because people want to enrich themselves. Yeah. And and you know the funny thing is, um, it has become a norm in recent times that you know our he got charged eighty thousand or hundred thousand. Now we we go into um, the Lobola negotiations with the expectation of yo, Ebas on charge, Ebas on cap, you know. Yeah. But it, it's become such a norm. Oh, no, it's it's just a monetary exchange. Mm. It's no longer about building uh, the union between the two families. And I keep on asking myself this question: oh, where did it go wrong? 
I think just to uh, just to add, I, uh, like just you me- you mentioned some figures, you know, mm. um, you know when I was just reading, uh, just doing some research on the topic, you know, back in the day, of course, Lobola, you know, the cattle, you know, you mm. exchange cattle for for not exchange for the mm-hmm. person, but you know, it was a, a, a gift to the family. Mm. Um, so there was this. I forgot his name. I forgot his name, but he's like some white dude. Sorry to our brothers there, but <laughs> some white dude decided no. Let me put a law on this Lobola vibe. So he said uh, the standard for Lobola is 11 cows, right? Mm. And 11 cows in this time, if we maybe had to calculate if a cow is what, nine, 10,000 rand, that's like 100K. Mm. So if that's the standard and it's in a Siakala, we are saying, ay, 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 ay. And, and this standard has been used by a lot of, you know, Especially in, my, in the Zulu culture, it's been used as the standard to say, Maskala, Skala on 11 cows, which is the 100K. You know, so I don't know, how do you feel about that? <laughs> for, okay, can you say, no, go for it. Yeah, for me, looking at the monetary value of it, I mean, we need to go back to the question of what is it that they are doing with that money, mm-hmm. first and foremost. I know in some cultures, you know, uh, the bride's family, bar, they, they take that money and they use it uh, towards uh, the actual wedding, yeah. you know, to pay for whatever that's going to be needed. And they actually buy gifts for the groom's family. Mm. And when they, when Ahubana led that, those exchanges, you know, they use some of that money for that. And whatever is left would be then shared amongst, or, the, family. Um, amongst the family. Yeah. So... I mean, if you, if you asking for eleven cows, I mean, that's what, for me, what what is what what is the intention? I think that? maybe just to add, sorry, just to add, ne? Yeah. the reason why that that sort of law was put by was because the, uh, there was an abuse, there was a distortion on on what other families were charging other families. Mm. You know, that go up to like fifty cows or mm. sixty cows. Mm. So, um, as I said, that guy he put this law just to regulate. You know, but now eleven cows in this time is a hundred k, hundred and twenty thousand rand. That is a lot of money. Mm. So, do you think we should adjust, or I don't know? No, basically for for me now we've already adjusted that because okay. the guy with the eleven cows, come on, you don't like you don't know how much I'm earning. Yeah. You no, know, and but then I love this woman. Mm. So if my family on and or her family are meaning, uh, are they they like they're willing to meet one another in the middle. If 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 I have to pay 10k for example for lower let it be because like because of I'm not buying that thought I'm just being relationship between if family I'm near okay so people need to know what the manager is like like I said like master and good it's not a matter of buying yeah but it's a matter of building relationship between two families so that uh, like even the guy who came with the law as you said uh, sorry sorry guys said he's white yeah he doesn't know our cultures yeah. how we, we how, how how we are and mm. he doesn't even know how because he doesn't even know our struggles as well like our, our struggles as well because of mm. tina as most black people we work but we earn little most of us yeah. we don't like earn a lot of money mm. so if it's 11 cows it's 100 grand come on yeah we, like there's traditional wedding Hey. Money needs to be spent there. Yeah. There's white wedding. Hey. Money needs to be spent there. And then from there now we have to move away from staying a, a bedroom to getting a house. Mm. You know what I mean? You have to get cars. Mm. So with that hundred k, you're gonna do a lot. But yeah. then like, 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 from that we were about fire on Nanji, just mm. like that. Mm. So we need to look at it, guys. When you're getting married, there's a lot that's gonna come in place, like in, yeah. throughout that chain. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you know. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things that we have to consider. <laughs> you mentioned uh, traditional and white wedding, and the conversation that has been happening, like mostly on social media, is the idea of the the perception that once you do a traditional wedding, you are not you're done. done. You you're actually done. You you're know? done. Mm-hmm. A white wedding, it's another culture's way oh, of actually, doing things. I yeah. saw a meme that yeah. actually says a white wedding is actually a traditional wedding, yeah. according to the yeah, Western side exactly. of things. Yeah. yeah. So. so Maybe not to sit up as Kawata, you know? yeah. but now I, I share the I same sentiment then? in terms can I, of. Can hmm? I add something? So, 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 yeah, you can jump, sure, sure, jump in. The thing is, even Nami, my, my, my wife is like uh, my wife, who can I apostle? Sure. And when we got married, we went the traditional wedding inside the church. We were the first ones to do that 
or church because of they, they normally used to getting people married white wedding inside the church with things we did what white wedding stuff is done a traditional wedding because okay. i felt good i don't want I, I like being a white wedding is not for me like you're saying you know mm. traditional is it's ours the, the priests were like no you can't i said guys this 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 is our wedding you yeah. can't tell us what and how to do our wedding yeah. we came inside the church with our traditional stuff and we're gonna get married like you do with the white wedding people mama bashata sure. and we did that we are happy nah that's wow. dope that's dope i think it's very important yeah i think masses keep ningi you've paid like about my 100k unfortunately it's something that we cannot run away unless you have the conversation with your partner yeah uh, by flag she must flag it with her family yeah i think uh we were talking about manje makusogwenza my divorce hey. yeah no in the hey. unfortunate case of divorce <laughs> what do you do do you buy posy you buy there you ask for your money back what goes down what do you what do they say at very much <laughs> <laughs> money back you can come <laughs> yeah so I, just, i think um for me uh it's it, it all boils down back to how uh, the the negotiations or how this union began in the first place mm-hmm. that's why we uh, earlier on we kept on uh, emphasizing the point that uh, the unionship mm-hmm. so if both families have got that good relationship and then me and the wife decide not ah so really grand we can't continue both families come uh, sit together and discuss oh, okay how do we make this I mean it, if they have a good relationship they they it's easy for them to come together and be like okay our son and your daughter are no longer in a good space let's all just uh, let's allow them to go their separate way and let's continue with life and it be it becomes a smooth process you know and that's where then the discussion of uh, do we get our money back or not you know Food comes in or, or you know <laughs> and it depends with cultures as well mm-hmm. yeah. you know so yeah for me i feel i feel like it boils down to that um the, the mutual respect the mutual, mutual respect for so if if uh, if let's say i was charged um like 200,000 for low ball mm. And then things go bad and I go back That's to my family and be like, <laughs> yeah, no, me, me and that girl. And you see my family already, there, 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 there isn't that good, uh, there's a bad vibe between the two families because they feel like, yo, you, you charged a donor to a chelete sanyang in jay. So true. yeah, now you see what your daughter is doing and blah, 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 blah. And now it, it, it becomes just a messy uh, process. 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 Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, any, you want to add anything, Tabs? No, I mean, uh, on my side, uh, uh, from what I know culturally is if that happens, we get divorced, it's fine. Mm. But along the way, if she's going to get married, okay. then the man has to come back to us. Mm. Oh, oh, that's interesting. That's how yeah. culture is. And so I'm saying, when you mm. get divorced, it's fine. Okay. She's still young, she's going to get married. But when she gets married at a later stage, yeah. the, her family must not be part of that. The man has to come to my family. So in, with that said, I'm going to get our money back guaranteed. So 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 yeah. the, new, the new guy, <laughs> Opatala Lobola, to, to my family. Yes. So Ubuisa Cheleta Kamahati. Yeah. Mm. Oh, guys. So, so, so uh, just to maybe highlight again maybe just you know in terms of the the money the amount of money that gets charged you know mm-hmm. i mean i did speak about the the 100k standard 120,000 rand mm-hmm. sort of the law standard that has been put out there and a lot of you know zulu umzulu mm-hmm. uh that's still sort of used as well mm-hmm. that's like the margin that they set up for you and then if you can negotiate down that's good for you so if if i mean les awagashati and i just want to know uguti If you ever get charged like a lot of money, let's say the 100k, you know, would you consider getting a loan? Would you consider getting into debt so that you can pay off? No. You wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Would you advise? How would yeah. then you advise to say up for such an amount? For at Yeah. I I no. <laughs> I, I I've got an expectation or an idea of, uh, of uh, i've got a ballpark of what i'm expecting for <laughs> myself yeah. and that is something that i'll obviously communicate with uh, my fiance yeah. and tell her guti bon this is how much i'm willing to pay this is the limit 
and uh, anything beyond that i would like born yeah uh, like born. yeah <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll pack my bags and go and so road, yeah for me i think uh, that's it it, it it starts there you know with what is my maximum that i'm willing to pay sure. regardless of how much I'm, or how i'm doing in my career or in life how much money i have i have a, a maximum amount that i feel oh, this is a reasonable amount for lobola and i start say i'm saving based on that so if if i'm nowhere near that i'm not even considering starting the negotiations yeah you know so okay. yeah. so hey, if i feel to say about one yazi you guys said a mouthful you know in such a short space yeah, of short time spo- a short space of time and i think just to reflect on what you guys have said as well um I mean, personally i feel like as a man if if you're serious about um anything it, sh- it, it, it that is reflected in the effort that you put um towards whatever it is that you're doing you mm-hmm. know and me personally once i've chosen to go to this is the person that i want to be with um i'm willing to go the extra mile to make sure what i pay whatever it is that is required but also to communicate it with her what is not tidy yeah about sasa we we building a family we starting a family together let's just make sure we go to whatever it is that we agree on um tomorrow we don't feel the burden and the people mm-hmm. that sort of like Uh, made those decisions are not there around you know? so, uh, just just to add on to that you know it uh, i remember if <laughs> you yeah. a few wise words from from uh, a wise woman shout out sister visa yeah, yeah, shout uh, out uh, sister she visa. was mentioning one thing that she said was you know uh, that's key in all of this is communication especially yeah. between yeah. you and your fiance yeah. and your partner yeah. communication yeah it's true mm-hmm. Now, com- com- communication is key honestly cover cover me that like 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 you said i go to i'm i'm going to pay this much if they go above i know yeah. you're not getting there but what i'm just, what, what i want to say is that our negotiations now have moved like a pro- progressed in a way because now when you send your old uncles and your grandparents and also ever they they're going to agree on anything that has been that that that, that they're going to be giving that side mm-hmm. so it's about time that now we as young people going to represent and talk there mm. over me and my family it's young people who are like who are married business people and so ever so when we negotiate mm. we always go low mm. the last low negotiation is that you went to now you won't believe the man that we we, we like we came back <laughs> home with within ah go but that that family they they, they like they mm. brought older people mm-hmm. and then we all youngsters yeah. so we able to convince them and show them the right things accordingly and then we ended up paying nothing Mm. We ended up paying the, the full amount lobo la la po, and then we went back home in a change. Wow. So <laughs> families need to know what when you go there, get people who know to talk, not wow. your old people, because the old people are tired now. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna agree on anything that they were doing. Hey, 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 right, uh, Chance, uh, thank you so much uh, for coming through. Um, we had to cut it now. Um, I think we, we went a bit of a time. Yeah, but that's yeah. cool. Um, we really thank you for your insights. Interesting to get from you, Les, and, and Tapelo. And I think for me, just to wrap it up, uh, communication is key, you know, with your partner. Um, and then as we smile, you know, I think I still need to save up, you know. Before you even embark, you must have something, mm-hmm. you know. You have to be responsible about your finances and just expect anything. And 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 for us, man, we we pray about it. We just hope that God favors us yeah. and that, you know, um, when the time comes, you know, um, we can get a good deal when it comes to this. Because, I mean, it's a beautiful thing, Ukshata. So, yeah, I'm done. We out. We out. Shout outs. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs>